Depending on how much data you want to store in your barcodes and how much space is available for applying them, both 1D and 2D barcodes have their advantages. In this video, we cover some of the most widely used symbologies. 1D barcodes can only hold a very limited amount of data. Since inexpensive optical laser scanners can detect 1D codes, they are widely used in different industries. Alternatively, 2D barcodes consist of a grid of pixels that can store more data while using less space and have a high fault tolerance. Code 39 encodes only digits, uppercase alphabetical characters and some special characters. The low data density makes it unsuitable for tiny items, a frequent use case is in the automotive industry. Code 93 is a compact version of Code 39. Its main user, postal services companies, encode delivery information within it. Barcode 128 also comprises the ASCII character set. It's most frequently used in transporting goods, especially to mark containers for distribution. The EAN barcode, short for European Article Number, helps retailers to identify individual products which can then be linked to quantities or prices. UPC, the Universal Product Code, is mainly used in North America. It encodes 12 numeric characters. The retail sector uses it in the same way as the EAN. The QR code is popular in advertising, public transport, airline ticketing and parcel delivery. QR codes scan correctly even if a significant part of the matrix is missing. The Aztec code is read in a spiral pattern starting from the center, making use of the same error checking as QR codes. The transportation sector accounts for most Aztec code use cases. The L-shaped data matrix code, depending on its size, can store more than 3,000 characters and is generally used in the pharmaceutical industry. PDF 417 codes are multiple 1D barcodes stacked on top of each other, with the information encoded in the middle section. These codes can be found in the travel, healthcare and logistics industries and in ID documents.